Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I got this purse in a Thread Up Rescue Box, one of my most recent one that I just did. And as you can see, it has a lot of colorful, colorful marks all over it. Kind of look like someone's kid, maybe took a marker or something. It is a Dooney and Burke, so I want to try and preserve it as much as possible. I have removed the shoulder strap just to make sure I don't damage it any more than it already is. But as you can see, there is a faint mark here, another faint mark that runs up here. Um, I think that there are some, oh, there's a little bit down here. And then the back is clearly where all of the issues are and there are some marks on the bottom as well. So in today's video, I am attempting to remove all of these marks. I have done test areas already with different products and I'll go over which ones I've used and which ones didn't work. And then I'll show you how I think I'm gonna be able to get them all off. So the first product that I tried was this Angelus cleaner. This is great for cleaning suede specifically, at least that's what I use it for, but you can use it on leather. It's basically just to clean it. Unfortunately, it did not work on any of these spots. Next up, I used a magic eraser, or really this is like a cheap version of a magic eraser I got from Amazon. I thought maybe if it was just on the surface that I might be able to scrub it off, but this did absolutely nothing and I was worried about taking off the finish, so that did not work. Next up, I used nail polish remover. This does have acetone in it, which is what you want when you're trying to remove spots like this. But unfortunately, I started to use it over on this one and it kind of looked like it was taking off the coloring. So I decided to not continue with that product. I also tried rubbing alcohol. It literally did nothing. And I also tried white vinegar, which is kind of my tried and true for everything, but it also did nothing. The only thing that has worked is hairspray. I have a travel hairspray, it's like halfway full. It does need to be an aerosol though, and I'm not exactly sure why or what the science behind it is, but all the things that I've read and all the videos I've watched has always been an aerosol container. The one thing I have to be really careful about is there is a coloring finish on this bag. So you can see it's not pure white, it's kind of like a creamy beige color. So I just have to be really careful with whatever I use to not take off the finish. After I'm done cleaning it, I will be using a leather cleaner and conditioner and hopefully that will help its cause. So let me show you how I used the hairspray. So first I tried it over on this big mark here, which was a lot brighter before I tested this and it did come out. So you basically just wanna have like a good liberal amount. I'm just gonna spray it on there. Whew. Make sure that you're doing this in a well-ventilated room because hairspray is pretty potent and also make sure that you protect your table as well. So then we're just gonna gently rub. I'm just using a cotton round. And you can see that the orange color is coming up, but so is also some of the beige color of the bag. So I do not want to scrub too, too hard. See, a lot of the color came off. So now I'm just gonna take a wet cloth and kind of wipe this down. So here is my wet cloth. And because, you know, hairspray is super sticky, I don't want the purse to be sticky either. All right, so as you can see over here, I have not only rubbed off some of the finish, but it's also wet on the leather itself. So I'm just gonna leave this spot alone, let it dry. I have also started on this spot off camera because I wanted to make sure I wasn't completely ruining the purse. But honestly, if I do ruin it, I'm not that concerned about it because I knew this was going to be a very tough piece in order to get all of these markings off. So if I do ruin it, unfortunately, it is what it is. Maybe I'll try to dye it in another video, but I did just wanna preface that in case I did ruin the bag. So now I'm just gonna continue doing hairspray all over the bag, then wiping it off with a cotton round and then also wiping it down with this so that it doesn't leave the bag sticky. And I'll show you the results when I come back. All right, so I have gone over the purse once, sometimes twice and three times on a couple of spots. 
And unfortunately, this is a failed experiment. That's why we do experiments so that we can figure out what's going to work and what's not going to work. If you are going to do this on your own, I highly suggest that you use a very small test portion on your item so that you don't damage it any further. So here is the front. A lot of the lighter marks have lessened, but they're still there. Unfortunately, this spot I rubbed a little bit too hard, so I did take some of the finish off. The back, I definitely rubbed a lot of the finish off here. You can kind of see there's like a lighter color beige right around in this area. This was the heaviest mark on the whole purse, so that makes sense. And then um, some of these have lessened, but not really. And then the bottom, the same thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wipe it down with just an antibacterial wipe to get all of that sticky residue off. And then I'm gonna do some research on how to dye leather. And I'm going to attempt to dye this. Hopefully it will cover up these spots. Before I dye it though, I may have to do some more hairspray treatment on these thicker, darker marks because I'm not sure if this color paint will cover this. I'm sure a couple of coats will, but I have never dyed leather before. This will be a total experiment. Yes, I could have listed this as is, but I definitely wouldn't have gotten the money that I feel like this purse deserves because other than those marks, it's perfect. It's like super clean inside. There's no scratches to the hardware. The strap is in perfect condition. So I'm sorry that this experiment wasn't a cased clothes kind of thing and there wasn't really a resolution, but there will be a part two to me dying this. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any other tips and tricks on how to get this off. But based off of my research, those products that I showed you before were the only ones that really would work and unfortunately they didn't. Every leather is different because there's coatings, there's colorings, and there's also certain like products and oils that they use to make the leather. So this will be a to be continued project. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.